Blubba -dub -dub -dub. My name is Mr. Fox, and welcome back to Life is Strange Episode 3. And we will be finishing this episode, which makes me a little sad, because then there will only be two left. Which means in two weeks, this will be over. Which makes me sad. I mean, there's the prequel, but Max isn't in it, and... It's very sad. I love this game so much. That's why sometimes I don't want to play it because I don't want the universe to end. It's like when you read a really good book, you don't want it to come to close, but you know it has to, just like the movie you really love. But, well, end is nigh, all that. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. Get in! You cannot find us. They totally won't hear the engine revving. <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. <laughs> <laughs> we totally almost got caught. Is there rules about going out at night from campus? Like, sleepovers? Is, is that banned? I don't know how a private school works. You know, never been to one. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Literally. Like there, it there, needs another one. There was one. Because you just read the engine got the hell out of there. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. I would know! I've you been know rejected like the school in town you seven to torch? times now? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel know. like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is free. Ah, here comes the copyright issue. Yeah. There's that music. Being copyrighted. Taxis, they keep turning I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I have to admit. It was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. 
Somebody call the doctor then! No? Doctor Who? Doctor? Come on. Get that reference or get out of this video! God damn it! Just gonna lay here. There's no option to get up, so I'm just gonna stay. Is there an option? No. No option. Great. We're staying. Confirmed. America! Fuck yeah! Here to save the motherfucking day, America! Fuck yeah! Freedom is the only way, yeah! You, you know that if I have to remove the song due to copyright issues, you're just gonna hear me singing America, fuck yeah. Seriously, you can get up. Oh, it's so easy in the evening by the morning, such Okay, I need to get dressed now. Do we though? Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. It was so simple in the moonlight. So simple in the moonlight. So simple in the moonlight. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. It means David that there me is going to be a giant freaking tornado coming towards Time us. To put on your daily armor, Max. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Open the okay. closet. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances. Literally. Whatever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sure. Why not? Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, 
That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. In your I face! Think I, would. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe that, not. That was Go on bad. down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. <laughs> I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Examine the wallet! The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. <laughs> exactly. Oh my Wrapped god. Your willy in that a smells Jimmy? so amazing. <sighs> yeah. What's up, dude? Yeah, you see the thing. The, the thing is, um, kind of into Chloe. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Mr. Fuck. Hey. 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 Like the patriarchy. Mr. Fuck, that is not what that equates to. Well, that's what we're making it equate to, okay? We don't need no man. It's like when we were kids here. Also, like, so that sleep crap in my eye. I forgot the clocks went back an hour last night. So I woke up and was like, oh crap! It's like nearly 10.30! I got out and I was like, oh, it's just going 10. What? It's my laptop. Like, changes its time automatically. I originally woke up at like 7, so it must have been 6. Really weird. It's trousing to like 1 o'clock in the morning last night. 114 games lost to. Very annoying. Very annoying. Like the games we lost would always be by like one round. Like it was just, it would go 3 to 3, we'd all be out of lives. And just. Mistakes were made. I wasted two tethers and one of them. It, it was bad. I mean, the game after that, I have a 21.0 KD, so. Redemption? Huh? Maybe? Kinda? What's up? Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and, Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Eggs! Check! The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I prefer to think that the chicken comes first. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. I know. Uh, really, there isn't... It's hard to make a moral argument to be vegan. Because if it's... Oh, it's wrong to hurt animals. It's morally wrong to hurt animals. And you can't exactly turn around and say, Oh, it's morally right for abortion because... Aborting the fetus secondly causing harm to the fetus, and the fetus is an animal, so if you say it's morally wrong to harm an animal, then you kind of end up locking yourself into opposing abortion. Fish your fuck, why don't you eat meat? I eat fish. And right now, I don't eat any other meat, because if I try, my digestive system can't really handle it anymore, and will make me puke. I know. Body's like, you're gonna be healthy, goddammit, or you're gonna be puking all night. 
So, in the interest of self-preservation, I don't Thanks. eat chicken After anymore. all these years really and sucks. everything that's happened, it's like, great I miss to see you and Chloe chicken together fingers again. So much. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. Strangely for me, what? five years ago just old. feels like a blink of an eye. You're only 18, Max. Guess that's how time works. Only I could go Fun back. fact. Time and space not are not actual choice. properties of the world, Voila. but merely Breakfast modes by which us, we queens. experience them. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Misha Fox. Are you yamming? Yeah, mean, it means that time and space don't really exist. But hey! Oh man. I don't want to be famous for this. Apocalypse now, bruh! It's bro apocalypse! I would have one of those in like forever. Last time I hung out with a friend was back in June? Yeah, spending a lot of time by myself. Peanut butter jelly I'm time! Glad it's peanut clean, butter you know, jelly crunchy. time! Yeah. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Touche. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Only 11.21. First episode should probably be up late afternoon. Um, last one, late evening. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I would water you, plant. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Yeah, the whole spying on people thing kind of rubs uh, everyone the wrong way. I don't way. think it can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Yeah, jeans with a hoodie. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And... and... Well, this I know, Joyce. Really sad. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this yes. to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe. She's Chloe. so full and positive now. Like in the pool? In the um, bedroom? Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yes! It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, 
No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Well played, Chloe. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Is a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. We will find stuff, for we are the clue masters of clues. Whoa. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? That's, um, a little excessive. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. I am so smart. My smartness is smarter than you. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something to think about. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Yeah, surveillance is a little... That's cute. Could be a password here. Okay. We roll! Or, look at this first. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Because that old, is that an old joke? Is that an old... Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Is there anything else that I should look at? Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. We're being thorough. Thing to see here. Okay, we're just thorough. We're super thorough. That's how we throw the thorough out of thoroughness. Nothing in it. But surveillance. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. All right. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Hello! Guns of guns? Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Finding all the things to do all the things! I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? All right, computer, you're mine. Nope. nope. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. If only someone had a rewind power. I will get a new computer. Oh, shit nope. balls. Huzzah! Next, the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? 
Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. <laughs> Don't dress grown men with goatees. That's a. It's actually a pretty good advice. Also, if they're wearing a tunic. This is so wrong. Dude. Oh, creepy bastard. The hell? Mine. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. But we should leave no evidence that we were ever here. <laughs> I found things. Things you're probably not gonna like. Uh oh. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the <laughs> swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. I know, they're the know worst. Sure it was Black Whale students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wasn't me. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? Yeah. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You know what? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you, punk. Yes, you do. You should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you, David. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Well, that escalated I hope Joyce doesn't hate you super quickly. She, yeah, well, um, I'm not gonna not side with Chloe. Come on. She's my... He's a dick, okay? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Nope, maybe we should talk to everyone, see what's up. How's everyone doing? How our feelings hurt? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Hey, buddy. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Me? I'm the one who's saving everyone. I save people. I'm all like, ooh, don't get shot in the stomach. Ooh, don't jump off a building. Ooh, don't spy on everyone. Listen, Not cool. 
When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. And let's hope he doesn't come back. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. Dude. Dude. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy <laughs> mutt. <laughs> now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Well, damn. I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. Uh, all right. Now, how are we going to break and enter? <laughs> hey. I'm a hero! I mean, I'm totally modest about it. We'll find things. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Bird! This is so creepy. I'm sorry, Bird. I couldn't save you. I couldn't so save you. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't think it could be like Climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. I like you, fisherman. You tell it how it is. You're like, yeah, Prescott's a bitch. I'm like, yeah, he is. Mr. Fox, hey, what the hell? Hey, how's it going? Hey, Pitchy. dude. Interview over. All right. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying hey. to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now, even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. I mean, I uh, could take it off your hands if you like. I could be all like, wish ya stolen. I mean, we might as well add Grand Theft Auto oh to this crime. That's so embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. For what? What the hell is going on around here? Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. So ominous. Oh. That's disturbing. The things I randomly find while searching things. Homeless dude! You're my hero. You're the hero we need. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Under your neck. Who are you? Max, can I get you something from the diner? 
I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. Exactly. That's why the homeless make the best spies. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespasses. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. You know what? Sure, why not? I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just going to say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Yeah. You save yourself, lady. <laughs> you save yourself. What is with all the dead birds? Something is going on here. And Detective Fox is on the case before he has to go back to the grind of destiny tomorrow. Well, I guess the grind technically begins on Tuesday because faction rallies is back. And they, um, patched the cheese. So for me to get guns for you guys, it's going to be hell. It's not going to be a fun time. Fun times will not be had in that grind. Oh, God. Insanity. I can feel it slipping away. I'm coming, Rachel. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Never What's up, mind Popo? me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. <laughs> Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. To the keys! How are we gonna get the keys, you ask? I don't know. Who's on the TV? Hey, but that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. Dr. Hedor, will your team know more after their latest tests? We see more patterns, which gives us an atmosphere okay. of integrity. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... Frank Bauer stars in A Faceful of Beans. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? It's just a little bump to you. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the You'd fuck do you surprised. want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Or... I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. So... Nope. With this. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? 
I was eating those bees. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Okay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Thanks. Mr. Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd that take is. a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Uh, I thought I... Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. You'd be surprised how useful those instant replays are. First. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber, nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me You're fucking welcome. expelled, you tweed bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hey, buddy. We'll chat later, Max. Oh, God. You're gonna make me do I this. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Fuck, how did you forget how to quickly rewind? Um, hey, buddy, what's up? There she is. Soup. Thanks, Officer Brick. I'm glad you represent. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Hey, Frank. What's what up? the fuck now? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. 
Well, what if, what if we spill this? You so eat it like slips. a pig. He falls. Nope. Don't. I kind of thought that would work. Or, you know, just take them. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay. Gotta be a little creative about it. How will we... Get around this? Keep right. Now back to Chloe. Oh. Huh. Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot when we rewind. We keep whatever we took. So... I'm a ninja! Hey! Are you shitting me? What's, uh... What's up? I helped you, but... Bigger plans, girlfriend. Bigger plans. Uh, huh? My Scooby snack, Chloe. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I oh. couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. I'm gonna get salmon out Get set. Throw. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can <laughs> snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. In other words, close the dough. Damn. I thought uh, my room was a shithole. Well, You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. We will find clues because Detective Fox is once more detecting. Look at my you deductive scope skills. While I hack his computer for info. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Pompidou? <laughs> for reals? That's a poodle's name. <laughs> Oh. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Can't quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I don't think she's on it. I do not think she is on that. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. I mean, she... I don't quite trust Chloe with a weapon. <clears throat> I mean, if it wasn't for us, she would have shot herself and died with said bullet. I might regret this, but I can't let Chloe hurt someone. Or get hurt. Exactly. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. 
the archetypal filthy guy dishes. I'm good to know. I do not have filthy dishes. Just so you know, my dishes are not filthy. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here. Of course, Frank gets the munchies. Finding Frank kings. must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. I. The hell happened in the mirror? How can somebody live like this? I have no idea. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Cause we're extreme, dude. We're extreme. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them, or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Still looking for shit. Is Frank going to deal online now? Yes, probably. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. <laughs> That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Uh, okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, we found a stash, but did we find his weapons? No more secrets. Nothing. Maybe we can use a knife to get at the vent. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay, to find the tool, I don't think we're going to use a blowtorch on it. Thank this is you. almost as good as a set of keys. <laughs> My knife! Can I take the blowtorch? No. <laughs> My blade will open any portal. What do we have here? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Uh... You're on the best things I have here at what? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Okay. That's. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? What? Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. I detected things. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Buddy! Chloe. Buddy! Chloe! I'm really glad I did not give her that gun. <laughs> Chloe, you okay? Seriously, who eats beans for breakfast? Come on. I can know if they're done well, but when are they ever done well? Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's 
just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Well, this guy do really you know what it's like heavy. to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Well, we had a really nice high in the pool, and now we're at a really low low. She drove me back to class. School. I mean, that's nice. Didn't have to catch the bus. Oh my god. What is happening now? The hell did we just do? We'll fix you. There we go. Oh no. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years like old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. How? We... Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Chloe is just That's so true. damn happy oh, and carefree. You dare question and this is the last time, like unless I change it. Matt, there we. I love William like he was in my own family. Dude. I won't let him you, die today. You gotta let him die. There, there are certain things you don't fuck with the timeline. We'll be screwed, Max. Do you understand the timeline? It's just. Thing, bad things, bad things happen when you fuck this far back in time. Not even I fuck with time that much. Don't do it, Max. Don't you dare do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, Max. Hello, Max. Hey, don't. honey. 
Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Dude, I, I know it would be nice to save him, but time, it's... Oh yeah. I, I know I said here. time is only a perception, but come on, come on, come on. Come on. Can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. It had to be done, okay? Wait, what? No! I have to try. You don't want to. to do this, Max! I was put here to use this power to save William. For Chloe. You're gonna blow up the goddamn timeline! Do you understand this? Watch the house. And no Chloe and Max. Time will get royally fudged up. Game. Do I, I don't want to do this. Most defeat. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Keeps. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Score. Right. Like you're the real cook here. I am. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Yeah, how differently things can turn out if you do this, Max. Look at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Someone else might die. Someone else might die. I might die. She might die. A whole lot of other crap might happen. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. <sighs> this can only end badly. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Much. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max. He'll... Should we just hang on to the keys? Throw the keys out Hello. the window. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Sometimes time can't be fucked with, Max, okay? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and... 
and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Max. <sighs> Still happens. Does it? Oh, wow. We did it. Good about this decision. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was so I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody Max, listened when hear? I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Told you. Oh, no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? That's why you don't fuck that Chloe. much with time. Um, uh, not weird. This isn't weird. This is fine. We're fine. We didn't royally mess up the time. We totally fucked up the timeline, Max. What were you thinking? I said don't do it, and you went and did it. You just, you just had to do it, didn't you? You just had to. Oh God, is she dead? Please don't be dead. Screw up. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. 
Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. We done. We, we need to fix this pronto. Pronto, fix the timeline, Max. This needs to be rectified. We royally fucked up. <laughs> really? Almost 50% of you stole money from the handicap fund. Come on. You're like, here's. Got Frank's daughter. What the hell's, what the hell's that? Um, why would you give Chloe back a gun when she's crazily emotionally unstable? Yeah, we saved Lisa. Or he could help himself, right? Why would I want to be on the party list? I didn't even know there was a message. I mean, she was just gonna get wet. There wasn't much. You warned the homeless lady! Huzzah! She will be safe when the thing... And I'm not taking a photo in the past, that's... No. This just really feels like a scene out of a John Constantine comic. Well, that's it for today's episode, and I really want to see what's going to happen in episode 4, which will be coming next weekend, as promised. Don't worry, I will not be behind. It will go live Saturday. Part 2 would be on Sunday. Because no, not even Destiny is getting in the way of this, okay? This is one of my favorite games of all time. And D2, you're not on the same caliber, I'm sorry to say. You're fun as hell, but you're not... You're just... There's so many feels, it's so emotional and heartwarming and sad. I'm on a roller coaster of emotions right now. A roller coaster. Anyways, I thank you all for watching it. If not, I'll do it again. Thank you all for watching. And I really look forward to playing this again. And if you... Ah, oh, man. My outro is so messed up today. I'm sorry. Like we see you want to see more, leave a like, subscribe. It would really help out the channel a lot. It really would. I really appreciate it. And as always, have an amazing day and stay classy!